Hi friends, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Ashish here and today I will be covering a classic Sudoku on our channel. Now this Sudoku is constructed by Shai and I must say that Sudoku grids constructed by Shai are so good that you will really want to solve them again and again. So uh, the, uh, the, the Sudoku grids constructed by Shai really requires uh, Sudoku level at the highest, you know, at the peak and uh, the if you if you try to solve them you will learn so many techniques that you haven't seen before ever right so i would highly recommend you to uh, recommend you to try all the sudokus that uh, shai has constructed they are available on the discord channel and you will really enjoy those so an example of the sudoku grid is this one so i came across this sudoku grid and i was uh, actually one of my friend asked me uh, the continuation of this logo so i was uh, stuck for a long time very long time i would say and then i found a logic that was uh, not only uh, excellent but that actually completed this sudoku and without which i wasn't able able i wasn't able to place even a single digit in this grid so can you just imagine not even a single digit i was able to place in this grid yeah, at the start so there are so many givens you, as you can see there are so many givens in the grid and even with that you can't place even a single digit here and when you once you found find the break in this sudoku gets solved that is what is the beauty of a handcrafted sudoku right so i would highly recommend you to try this sudoku as well and then watch the video for the uh, logical uh, path so i am not sure what i found was the intended solve path but i was really ex uh, you know excited to cover a video on this one right so before going to the sudoku i would highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles if you haven't done so it will really motivate us to cover videos on daily basis and if at all you have a request for any sudoku variant or a puzzle genre do let us know in the comment below and we will surely make a video on it and now coming back to this sudoku so classic sudoku rules apply you need to place digits from 1 to 9 in each row each column and a 3 into 3 box without repetition and with that we will start solving this sudoku Okay, so what I will do is, I will uh, write all the pencil marks here, all the rows and columns, so I think so, 6 and 9 cannot be here, 6 and 8 cannot be here, uh, 2, 7, 8 and 9, 8 and 9, 7, 8, 2 and 9, 2, 7 and 9, and here it is 2, 6, 7, 9, so 2, 6, 7, 9, so 6 and 9 cannot be here, 9 cannot be here, 2 and 6 cannot be here, right? Uh, 6, 7, 8 and 9, so 6 cannot be here, 8 and 6 cannot be here, 7 also cannot be here and 7 cannot be here, right? So uh, at first when I actually saw, I when I actually saw this Sudoku, the image, the stuck image of this Sudoku, I got a excellent logic that I have seen before but very few, very few times, very rare I have seen that logic and the logic was that none of these cells will have a 9. I thought oh that is an excellent piece of logic, this should give me something, this should actually give me something but I didn't get anything here. So why first let me know, let me uh, tell you why you cannot have 9 in any of these 4 cells, any of these 4 regions. So of course you already have a 9 in this box. But these 9 cells won't have a 9. Now why? Let me uh, tell you that. If you see boxes 1, 4, 1, 3, 7 and 8, 7 and 9, none of these boxes have a 9 as a given digit. Right? None of these boxes has a 9 as a given digit and the placement of these given digits is in such a way that 9 would have to be in one of the plus signs. Right? Okay. Uh, one more thing here. As I said you, 9 cannot be in these 9 cells, 9 cannot be in these 4 cells as well. So there are exactly 13 cells where 9 cannot be. Now why? Let me tell you that. So for, for example, what happens if you have a 9 here? Not here of course, 9 here. Right? So none of these cells can have a 9. These cells will have a 9. Right? One of the oranges, uh, one of these 2 cells will have a 9, one of these 2 cells will have a 9. So this box and this box where can, a, where can a 9 be in these two boxes? So 9 would have to be in one of these two cells and one of these two cells in both of these boxes. So you'll have two 9's in that row. The placement of these boxes are in such a way that if you have a 9 here, you'll have 9 in one of these two cells and in these two cells. And in row 8, 
or in boxes seven and nine, you'll have nine in one of these two cells and one of these two cells. So you'll have two nines in those rows. Same way, if you have a nine here, if you have a nine here, or if you have a nine in the center cells of all these boxes, you'll end up having nine in two. Uh, I mean to say, two cells in the same row or column. That is an excellent piece of logic, but that didn't give me anything. I was still stuck in this Sudoku without uh, even after the logic, as I said you right. So uh, we can eliminate nine from all of these cells, and still I wasn't able to solve this Sudoku. So what am I missing here? What I was actually missing here, I didn't knew. Then I, uh, I I was lucky to find that, but it took a lot of time for me. I, I found somewhat uh, I, in this box, this box was very strong and you know, uh, he was able to get something in this box very easily. So let me tell you what was that and before that let us mark these uh, also because I am not sure if uh, that is that is giving us anything. 2, 4, 8 and 9. So 2, 4, 8 and 9, 4, 8 and 9, 2, 4, 8 and 9, 2, 8 and 9, right? <coughs> 1, 2, 3 and 9 3, 2, 1, 9 1, 2, 3 and 9 Not even 3 2, 1, 3 and 9 1, 5, 7 and 3 1, 3, 5, 7 5, 1, 3, 7 1, 3, 5, 7 1, 3, 5 and 7 And 5 and 7 And here is 4, 5, 6 and 9 5, 4, 6 and 9 6, 4, 5, 9 And 4, 5, 9 569 right so you marked all the uh, pencil marks with the uh, columns and rows having five digits given so oh, wait is that uh, one and three one and three oh five seven pair here so that gives you a one three pair here nothing with that do we get anything no nothing right yeah okay so what was the thing that i found in this puzzle was so i would highly recommend you try this puzzle yourself see if you get anything else because i am sure that what i found was not the intended solve path i assume i feel that that was not the intended solve path but still i was really enjoying that logic that i found right <coughs> <coughs> excuse me yeah <coughs> So for that, I will just mark the pencil marks here 1, 4, 5, 8 and 9 This was the main cell that I had to pencil mark And I saw that there are exactly two possibilities of 8 in row 6 uh, 8 either can come here or here, right? What I did was, I tried to place an 8 here because what happened is The moment I tried to place an 8 here, I got 9 here, 2 here and uh, that one uh, that gave me a one here so there were many digits that came along with just one you know digit just assuming one digit and the moment i assumed this digit i found that the sudoku is breaking instantly uh, not uh, i would say going ahead of uh, six seven shelves but the sudoku is something that i saw was the moment i get a eight here i get a nine here and a one here now what happens is if you see here closely I have just written 3 digits, I have not written more digits but the moment I wrote an 8 here, I got a 9 here and a 1 here and if you see these 3 cells these 3 cells can have only 4 and 5 the possibilities of these 3 cells are only 4 and 5 right, if you see here uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, so if you see here or in other words I would say is uh, yeah exactly I was right sorry yeah so the moment I write 8 here I get a 9 and 1 here 1 2 3 cannot be here 1 2 3 cannot be here in any of these three in any of these cells and 1 2 3 would have to be in these two cells or if you see here I eliminate 1 8 and 9 from these cells and 9 also from these cells and you get a 4 5 candidate possibility in these three cells which is of course not possible you need to have three digits in three cells and that I was shocked to see this logic because I have seen I've used this logic, uh, I've never used this logic in my life and I was really happy seeing it. So the moment I wrote an 8 here, I got a 9 here and a 1 here and that eliminates all the possibilities except the 4 and 5 from these cells. So which means 8 cannot be here, 8 would have to be here 
and that actually gave me a 7 and a 9 here so you would be asking me why i took only the 8 possibility as i said you at the start uh, having an 8 here gave me a few more digits but having an 8 here also gave me a few digits i got a 7 here a 9 here so what happens is that actually helps me solve either one way or the other way and it will help me clear a sudoku easily so that is how actually you guess a sudoku in competition i wouldn't uh, want you to guess it uh, while you are leisurely solving because you will miss the intended solve path but while in a competition you have to make sure that having any one possibility will give you too many dig digits so you let it will get to know you that if the sudoku is breaking or not so i got an 8 here and the moment i got an 8 here i got a 7 and a 9 here right <coughs> and that eliminates 9 from this cell ah, that gives me a 2 here right okay Mm, anything else? Yo, this cannot be 8, of course. Oh, sorry. Do you already have an 8 here? So, this would have to be a 4, right? And that eliminates 4 from these cells. 2 will have to be in one of these two cells. 2 will have to be in one of these two cells. So, you cannot have a 2. You can have a 2 here okay so uh, the next part of the logic was even after this was sudoku was not easy but actually it was some basic sudoku techniques that you had to look for i found that where can six and seven be in row four you cannot have a six seven here you cannot have a six seven here neither you can have a six seven here so both six and seven would have to be in one of these two cells so you have a six seven pair here and the moment i get a six seven pair here i get that nine can only be in one cell in box five and that is this cell so that gives me a 6 here, right? That gives me a 7 here, 6 here. That 7 gives me a 9 here, 2 here. That uh, 9 eliminates 9 from this cell. So that eliminates, uh, that gives me a 1 here. So if you see here, I got so many digits with just one digit of have, not having an 8 here and having it here. <coughs> so both of these cells cannot be 1 and a 2. You have a 3 9 pair here. Uh, you cannot have 1 here. This 9 would give you a 2 here. 8, 4, 5, 9. So 1 and 3. So this is a 3. That is a 1 here. 4, 5. So this is 7 here. Okay. Okay. This 7 would give me a 9 here. And 9 would eliminate 9 from this cell. Uh, 9 cannot, So 9 would have to be in one of these two cells. So that gives you a 9 in one of these two cells. 9 would have to be in one of these two cells. So that eliminates 9 from these cells. And 9 would have to be in one of these two cells. So that eliminates 9 from these two cells. Right? So that gives me a 3 here. Or already we could have placed a 3. That gives you a 9. That gives you a 1 and a 3 here. 7 and 8. So this is 8. This is 7. This is 8, this is 2, that is 6, that is uh, not 1, that is 3. <clears throat> okay, 6, 7, 9 and this is 8, that gives you a 7, that gives you a 9, uh, that gives you an 8 here. So, as you, as you see here, it actually helps me solve the whole Sudoku so easily, right? And... 7, 2, that is 9, that is 8, that uh, uh, 2 is eliminated from these cells, uh, 9 is eliminated from this cell, so this cell is a 9 now, right, uh, so this is uh, not an 8 here, you get a 4, 5 pair here in these two cells, and you need to have a 3 here, so this is 3, that uh, 4 gives you a 5, 4, 5, 7, and 4, 6, 5, 5, uh, 2, 6 and 7, so this is 6, that is 7, uh, 1, 2 and 5, right? So this is 2, 5 and 1, uh, that gives you a 4 here, that gives you a 2 here, and that gives you 1, 4 and 6. So this is 6 and this is 4. 
and that gives you 5 and 4 and with that we complete this excellent uh, sudoku by shai so as you can see here uh, how a different way of seeing the sudoku or seeing the logic will help you solve a sudoku and I, I was not sure if this is this was the intended solve path but what i found actually broke the sudoku very easily for me uh, just one thing was how did i select an 8 to guess that was the most important thing and as i said having an 8 here and a or an 8 here gives me so many digits here that i can see for if the sudoku is breaking or not and that actually helped me solve the sudoku easily so the moment i had an 8 here i know that i am breaking this box immediately and then i uh, shifted the 8 to here and then i got a few more digits that helped me a 6 7 pair and that actually gave me a 9 that was amazing actually getting a 6 7 pair and then getting a 9 was really excellent end to this sudoku so i hope you enjoyed this sudoku do like and comment if you want us to solve any other sudoku variant or a puzzle genre and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thank you.